And good afternoon, folks. I'm the voice of Dog. Welcome back to Control. Started this yesterday with the brand new upgraded rig. <clears throat> Excuse me. So far, really engrossing game. Very neat tone. We're heading down to maintenance now. Having just obtained the hotline. So let's see, when we left off... Search for a way into the maintenance sector. Trench and Darling arguing a couple weeks ago. Trench was furious. You don't think Darling... Don't be stupid. Who would the Bureau's golden child have to gain from killing the boss? What indeed? Do you hear that? Someone's singing. Yeah. Where's it coming from? Maybe that's my lead. Clearance three, we don't have that yet. What's this? Interesting. Just a cordoned off jukebox. I'm sure it's perfectly safe. Perfectly normal jukebox. Okay. You got it, spooky janitor. All these punch cards. They all got the same number on them, though. What's the point? I see. Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. Loading maintenance. The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who helped me reach the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Yeah, he did. Is Ati guiding me too? Crowbar. Oh, 
not getting it in there anytime soon. Hey, thank you, Maiden, for that follow. Welcome. Oh, I can break that. Well then. Ah, oh, book club. Unless you. Review by Captain? Corporal? No, Captain Lopez. These days, most young adult novels intertwine a coming-of-age story. It's either a contrived dystopian setting or a tragic romance, unless you manage to do both. In the story, the protagonist and her love interest search for a cure to a virus called the Fick, which is simultaneously killing her and spreading across the whole world. To find the cure, they go on expeditions into dangerous, uncharted territories. The people all live in walled cities now because of the dystopian future, and along the way, they just have to fall in love. I liked how we never got told the fix was ever actually fixed. The ending was bold, especially for YA. Main character succumbs to the fix when she's so close to the cure and commands her love interest to go on and save the world. She knows this is the end for her, but that the job can still get done. She dies out in the unknown, alone and surrounded by, surrounded by danger, but never loses sight of the gold. That's a good soldier's death. I give this book a 3 out of 5. I feel most of the teenage angst is a little lost on me, but I recommend it to my brother's kids. I got something new here. Reminder, if you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. One, search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Two, carry the altered item or object of oh, power. Oh, I saw that. I heard this one. Ritual impulse. Yeah, that was the same book that the other guy read. But he had a very different take on it. The directorial override is right there, in the control room. How do we get there? Well, I'm out of ideas. Hang on. Good. Whoa! Had to check. that I can shoot this open. Oh. Incoming. Bonked him. Did an accidental bonk there. Threshold remnant. All right, we got a control point here. <coughs> Cool. 
I'm taking energy. No oh, wait. Oh, I don't have enough. Oh, I don't have. Oh, that's what it is. The counter's at the top. I see. Gotcha. I don't have any points yet. Construct shatter. I can construct the shatter. Construct spin. All right, now I don't have any, uh, now I'm out of stuff. Cool. Very neat. Is that rumble I'm feeling when it reloads? Yes. Okay, that's what that rumble is. It's tactile feel to when your gun is full. Still gotta get down there. Oh boy. something here I probably missed something here yeah there's a whole other corridor down there black rock quarry black rock processing ventilation janitor's office well let's go see the janitor Shatter seems pretty powerful, actually. Okay, there is a very bad zone there. Oh, jeez. Do I really want that near me? Yeah, I don't want to go there. That hurts. That bad. Unless. Hang on. No, I don't see anything I can really interact with there. Yeah, I can't deal with mold yet. That's fine. Yeah, I did discuss last time... Uh, I wasn't sure if she was talking to you, the player, or her brother that she's got maybe a psychic link to. That was my other theory, but it seems more likely that she's talking to the player.
Yeah, I would say that's a pretty good way to describe the game. Ambiguous, but intriguing. Hey, Arthbash, how you doing? This goes back upstairs. There's a four door. How about the janitor's office up here? Oh, I hear him. What's down that way? Sounds like he's in this room. But I don't think he is. I think he's in this room. Hello. Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yep. <laughs> it happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. <laughs> it's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. I don't know. I think I'm working that pretty hard already. A couple of hours job. Something tells me it's going to be more than that. Yaha, yeah, yeah, yeah. You think there's a dog buried in this? Is that an expression? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. Well, it's definitely an That's expression. That's why you'll make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. My mother won't break the swore that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the uh, power generators of a uh, power plant break and the pensioner inside is starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up and we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. Trying my best to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. <laughs> but don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the trip before I go to my vacation. The work's on the task board here. You can do later, when you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes, no one's gonna cancel my holiday or seeds gonna rattle. But don't worry at all. You'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Clearance level Thank two. Thank you, Ati. All right. Yep. Burn the dress. Throw it in the fire. Burn it all. <laughs> Burn it into a reindeer, not into a moose. Yeah, this is a side mission, not a complete mission, but I'll, uh... Oh, it's time for a coffee break, so... Coffee. <laughs> Coffee. 
Um, I was talking with Maddie yesterday, and, uh, he said that, uh, the finish here is pretty realistic, and that it's only slightly exaggerated, like, like how an, er an old person who doesn't, who doesn't speak the language a lot would kind of exaggerate their speaking. Okay, that goes back here, right? We can open over the level two level. We can open all the level two doors. New mission. You can activate that later. <clears throat> Spin grouping efficiency. I don't have spin yet. Everyone keeps... Alright, that's not a graphical thing. room trying to shift? What's going on here? Room's mad. are shifting like a fun house. A carousel horse. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? Air evade. Keep up with me now.
Well, I'm glad I found this. The blinking red room told me where to go. Yeah, try horse. Cool. That was neat. I did not check this room yet. Marvin, I'm really enjoying this game. Uh, it's got a really neat atmosphere. The gameplay is interesting. The abilities are cool. The gun you get is awesome. They have this sweet pistol that can turn into a shotgun. Oh, is this FMV? This looks like real footage. Oh my god, it is. I'm drawing the pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> What's a pyramid? The black pyramid. It's in the astral plane. Airplane? Astral plane. It's big, white, and empty. Or is it? <laughs> it's a weird, crazy alien dimension. The white goes on forever. You can get lost in all that white and never find your way back home. I miss my home. <laughs> Same. Is that the one uh, you guys wanted me to find? It seems like the one you guys wanted me to find. <laughs> if it's not, I'm concerned. Yeah, we'll have to find as many editions of Threshold Kids as we can. Where am I at here? Okay, so what happens again if that thing blows up? Northmore. Tell me about Northmore. Northmore was director before me. I never wanted his job. I never wanted power. I purposefully avoided it. Didn't trust it. 
didn't want to rely on it. Northmoor was all about power. A man like an explosion, hungry for authority, for order, for more. Until it was too much. I had to find a solution in the end. Contain the situation. Northmoor never liked me, but he went along with it, to his credit. He didn't really have a choice. I suppose at the end of the day, a director's most basic duty is to keep the lights on. Here's to you, Northmoor. There were no prime candidates waiting in the wings, but I was there. Had been the whole time, keeping my head down, working my ass off. I had nothing to lose. I picked up the gun almost on a dare. I see. Oh, I've got a mod for shatter. Projectile spread minus... Okay, recoil efficiency or projectile spread. Oh, cool. I can have one on each gun. So armor damage is on the other one. Who is the pensioner, I wonder? Oh. Interesting. Okay. Let's follow this then. So I noticed this area is a bit more graphically intensive, and I'm getting a little bit of chugging, but not a lot. Is it still watchable? Is it still look good, folks? Still looks good? Okay. chugged all the time on the PS4. Yeah, I did hear that. It sucks when that when a console does that. It's like there's nothing you can do to to mess with the you know, with the settings and stuff. An object of power escaped the Panopticon a couple weeks ago and they want everyone to keep an eye out for it. So if anyone sees a merry-go-round horse zipping around the sector, alert me immediately. Do not try to contain it on your own. Definitely don't bind it to yourself. Whoops. Definitely didn't bind it to myself. <clears throat> yeah, I'm running a 970, which is not a very new card at all. It's, it's an old card, but I do have a brand new... Ryzen 2 processor, and I think that might be doing a lot of the work here. I don't know how how much it depends on ooh how much it depends on one or the other. Games are weird like that on PC. You got a thing, so you should be okay. You knew? Go talk to Chief Arish in the security group. He's in charge here. Ma'am! Hey! Chief Arish, FBC security. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? I'm your boss. They all have HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah, Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on, you're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, 
Ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, uh, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> Uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. And Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Hmm. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? Well, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Yeah, I was thinking the Try same thing. Alive. There's a large scale something or other somewhere. And it's probably protecting an entire area, and that's probably where he's What's hiding out. All of this? Hey, Simon. Yeah, if someone in the sector is asking about Adi, just tell him you'll handle it and leave it at that. Under no circumstances should any personnel intervene with his day-to-day -day routine. I told you everything I know about him so you could better deal with his odd habits, but it's still very much a classified matter. Also, I saw your report about the quarry worker who wandered into the Foundation. Detaining him was the right move. We'll figure out what he saw before we decide on the next steps. In case you hadn't noticed, something is up between Trench and Darling. I know this isn't your strong suit, but try your best to stay out of it. Oh. When the converters and coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. I hope. What do you know about the hiss? Not much. Only what I've seen. Well, they use the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador taught us, which makes me think that the hiss haven't completely erased the people inside, which is a pretty fucking horrible thought. Or they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. In any case... They are really eager to get inside the power plant. Why do you think that is? Shit, I don't know. They want to make my life harder? <laughs> what do you do here, Arish? Security chief of the maintenance sector. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother the maintenance crews. Learned everything I know from Salvador. The best security agent this bureau has ever seen. And you like your job? I love it. You know, everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we fix pipes instead of writing memos, but I gotta be honest, these are the bravest people in the goddamn building. I'm proud to work with them. I've done a few odd jobs with these kind of folks. They say what they mean. I like that. What exactly is the power plant? Listen, I only know what Salvador told me, but I know it generates all the electricity for the Bureau, and it's got two very simple rules. Rule one, Keep it below a certain temperature. Rule two, don't ever, ever open it. Oh, and three, uh, it's classified, so I shouldn't ask. Hmm. Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. Oh, yeah. It's all part of the job. Kind of like how my computer operates. I mean, I open it sometimes, but... What do you know about the service weapon? Not much. The thing is director only. Salvador told me by the time he saw Trench use it. Sounds like that gun can do some serious damage. Yeah, I did see pictures of it once, though, and uh, it looks different to that thing you're carrying. You monitor something? It's new. Is new a good thing? Given the circumstances, I'd say new is our best bet. Do you know this Ati guy? <laughs> of course. He's my favorite coffee break buddy. Dude has got some crazy stories. He probably knows more than anyone else around here. If you can make sense of what he's saying. Any idea where he's from? I'm guessing Sweden. Uh, he's from where he's from. Look, there are just some stones that are better left unturned, you know? 
I should be going. Right. You gotta lock down the lift. He's speaking Finnish. Is Sweden possible? Is, is Sweden the possibility, or is it more like no? You're. He's Finnish. Internal pressure is climbing so fast. I'm amazed the NSC is still holding. When it blows, we're all going with it. Noted. Faden. I'm gonna climb over all this important looking equipment. Oh, there's an elevator over there. I guess we'll be taking that later. Harvey, thanks for that follow. Welcome. This is a huge area, huh? Where are we? In the main... Yeah, we're in the main chamber here. Whoops. Suicide guys. Dangerous. Furnace chamber is that way. Cool. That's kind of what I was looking for, even though it's a side quest. I do want to check out the furnace. See if we can burn all the trash. Oh, you mean... Cube?
straight shot at them. I did, I buffed my throw first, and I gave it, like, an extra 75% damage or something like that, so throw is currently very good. I do like that you can't depend entirely on throw and that you need to supplement with gun. Hmm. Health or launch explosives? Or just launch three? Hmm. All my eggs in one basket? Or maybe more energy. I could use more energy. Hey, thank you, History's Greatest Monster. Congrats on your successful relocation <laughs> to Redacted. We are saddened to hear of Redacted, but are glad to hear of your overcoming the obstacles. Before we leave you to continue your important work, we have this message. Beware of Redacted. Noted. Redacted. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Alright. Need 10,000 for that, more ritual impulse. Constructs level. Upgrade to higher tier mods. Huh. Okay. Launch efficiency. Cool. Oh, I don't have charge yet. like to mess around in photo mode. Ooh. 
My name is Dr. Pierce, lead researcher of the Parakinesiology Department. I believe I've discovered the code Omega Paranatural Entity residing within the Bureau. Right under our noses. Darling refused to allocate me the budget or resources, so, so I'm taking matters into my own hands. Let this recording be the proof I need to convince them. The furnace can speak. <laughs> it's been talking to me for some time now. Listen. Did you hear that? It's a sentient force capable of communicating. I checked and, and there's no record of, of ever installing this furnace. I believe that... What? Yes, I can feed you. Uh, what do you eat? I see. Uh, I'll try to find some volunteers. Okay. what trash they mean specifically. I've got a different idea. Could be these barrels. By trash, did Ati mean barrels full of hazardous biological material? Maybe. Well, it seems like they're breaking some environmental regulations on waste disposal, but if that's what Ati wants, then I'll get it done. Hills of gold. Thanks for that follow. Welcome. Progress bar is going up. That's correct. This is where the plane of fire... This is where the fire elementals live, like from Unavowed. I don't know if anybody saw my uh, playthrough of that game. We sent that one guy to the Plane of Fire Elementals because he was not human anymore. Mm. I see a green glow over there. Hang on.
burn the trash. Very nice. Two ability points received. Very good. All right. Okay, the NSC coolant pumps are over there. Uh oh. Oh. We're going caving, it looks like. Um, I think this is part of the house itself, because this is maintenance. It's got to be underneath the whole thing, right? It's definitely got to be part of the oldest house. I don't think it's like the motel where it's connected via some weird psychic link. Bro, bro. Bro, bro. Bro, Fix it fast. If the plan goes boom, we can throw the spoon in the corner. Well, you don't want the spoon in the corner. You can't eat when it's in the corner. Uh-oh. Oh boy. Oh no, I'm walled in. Gonna be more of these guys, huh? Don't feel safe just yet. It's more of those power cubes. Reminds me of Ma uh, not Mass Effect. Uh, mm, oh God, Dead Space. <clears throat> There's one. Alright, I bet more dudes are gonna spawn after I... Not that box. This box. Keep power. Here we go.
my distance. Made a fire. I've got a ton of mods, but can only carry like two of them. Whoops, almost fell off there. Hello. You can deconstruct mods for cash. I did not know that yet. That seems useful. That gross blockage down on the water systems is back. What the fuck is it? And where does it keep coming from? And why the hell does Octi keep yelling nonsense at him? He acts like he can, un it can understand him. Of course, he acts like we can understand him too. Guess that's just his brand of crazy. I'm gonna try out a new drain cleaner. Extreme strength. Rate of fire boost. I see, we've only got so much space for mods. There's gonna be one more pump here. Where is it? Maybe over here? Yeah, PO3. Oh. My old enemy, the clock, is blocking the pipes. You need to deal with that shit. He is very clever. He is trying to sneak in. He caught him caught with his hand in the fish trap. Get rid of him. Shit. What now? See. My okay. old enemy, the clock, is blocking the pipes. You need to deal with that shit. He is very clever. He is trying to sneak in. He caught him caught with his hand in the fish trap. I don't know if I'm qualified for this job. This is definitely some dead space shit here. This is, uh... Quite gross. Okay. 
repair. I'm in the pipe work. Oops. Missing something here. I need to take another run around. It's a small maze, but it's a maze. Do it. I think that did it. I'm going to assume that did it. Hold together a little longer. There are the pipes. Nothing more satisfying than manual labor. Okay, but what about? Okay. Job well done. Wait, what's that? Oops. Fell myself to a hole. I get a real clear line of sight. Where is he? Is he sneaking up on me? 
Yeah, keep shooting. There you are. That got him. Yeah, victory dance. Uh, so far, Antler Noodle, I'm really enjoying how this game plays. I haven't had too much of a problem with the gameplay. The first boss was a bit of a... Uh, was, like, kind of tricky, but it only took me two attempts. Oh, do I take the... You know, that's a good question. Do I take... Oh, do I... I must have dropped into a kill floor or something. My bad. Still have my objectives done, though, right? So I think I don't. I didn't lose any progress. I just lost a bit of cash. Dying is its own shortcut. That's correct, actually. <laughs> Pay attention to your surroundings. You will sustain lethal damage if you fall too far. Thank you, game. Okay, where am I now? Okay. That probably goes back to the elevator at the NSC power plant. So let's see, there's the furnace chamber. Now I gotta get to the energy converters. Three points, three points, two points, two points. Hmm. Hmm. Taking a drink. named enemies here. Wasn't expecting that. Cool. So you do have fights with allies. That's kind of neat. I like that. I like when games do that. Are they alive still? Did I save them? Blockages in pipes see through. 
half. Is the clock back? Now. I got rid oh, of it. Man. Adi is gonna be so pissed. All right. Let us take a brief break. We'll be right back with more maintenance at the bottom of the bureau. Five minute fluff break. 